In this video, I'll show you how to add a tip option on your WooCommerce checkout page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, I'll show you how you can add a tip option on your WooCommerce checkout, similar to this, okay? So you can add a predefined amount. For example, we can prompt customers to leave a tip of $5 or even $15 or we can give them the option to enter in a custom amount, okay? So we can say we wanna leave a tip of $25, for example. And when we click add, if you notice, we'll have this um, tip option here. And then obviously the order total reflects the amount accordingly, okay? This particular video is based on this article here. So I'll leave a link in the description below, or you can just head over to AOVUP slash blog, and then just go ahead and search for a tip, and you'll be able to find this particular article here. So the first step is we actually need to go ahead and install the WPC order tip for WooCommerce plugin. So I'm gonna copy the plugin name, then I'll head over to our dashboard and we'll install this plugin. So we'll navigate to plugins and then click add new. Okay, and then in the search box here, we'll just go ahead and search for that plugin, which we just copied, okay? Okay, and we can see it's this particular plugin. So we'll just click install and then we'll activate it. Okay, so now the next step is to navigate to WP Clever and then order tip. So now we'll just go through the settings and we'll configure it accordingly. So the first thing is it says on a cart page, where do we want to show the tip option? So before order total, that's fine. We can leave it there. And here it says position on the checkout page. We can specify whether we want to show it um, above or below the order summary before the checkout form or um, just hide it, okay? So here I'm just gonna leave it to say before order review. And for the no thanks option, I'm gonna show this before the other button. And um, for the active color, I'm just gonna configure this slightly just so it's more in line with my theme styling and brand identity. So with that out of the way, we'll scroll down to where it says tips and then here we can give it a name so the customer will see this on the front end. So we'll say something like leave a tip and then you can add a description. Now we'll actually go ahead and add our tip value. So we'll click add new value here. Here we can say $5 for example, and then here we've got the label. So for the label, you could say leave a tip of $5 or whatever it is. I'm just gonna put five. So on the front end, they'll just see the main headline, which is leave a tip. And then we'll just have increments of five. So we'll have $5, $10, um, 15, or they can enter in a specific amount. So let's go ahead and build this out. So the next one would be $10. And then we'll put 10 for the value as well. And then one more, we'll say 15 and 15. Right, and then here where it says custom amount, we're gonna set this to yes. We'll just leave it as default for now. We won't add a minimum amount and we won't add a maximum amount. If you want, you can add steps as well. So maybe they can only leave tips in increments of five, for example. So if you purchase the premium version, you'll be able to access this feature here, which will only display it to a specific user role. So by default, it will display it to all users. So now we'll just go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, and now when we visit our checkout page, we should be able to see our tip display. So I've already got it open here, so I'm just gonna navigate to it now. So here we are on the checkout page, and we can see our heading here, which says leave a tip. And then here we can see our description, and then a the customer can choose the tip amount. So they can say $5. And then here you can see $5 have been added to their order, or they can actually enter in a custom amount. Okay, so maybe they want to leave a tip of $50, for example. And here we can see it's reflecting here. And that's a quick and simple way to add a tip on your WooCommerce checkout. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.